Hey guys, I just finished my internal medicine shelf exam and rotation overall. Just did that a few hours ago. I'm going to be heading to AMEC, which is the SNMA National Conference. So be sure to follow me on this journey, y'all. All this. There's a whole photo shoot going on right here. That's a real one. Oh, that's the one. Oh, Yo, so we're at AMEC 2019. Me, Chi Chi. Lillian. <laughs> Yo, it's not zooming in. Uh, yeah, so welcome. Uh, two out of three Blackest White Coats crew representing for UIC and Blackest White Coats. All looking proper, you know, looking dapper. Black excellence. Yeah, so we're all here. Alright. So yeah, we're trying to vlog the whole experience for you guys. It's okay, bro. Take it easy. You got time? Oh, no, it was actually a video, but... Yeah. Huh? Hello. Plug, plug your, yeah. plug your you know, socials. Try to go. <laughs> I keep meeting people. Oh. <laughs> what do you leave? <laughs> We're out here. Wait, it needs to... No. Uh. <laughs> no. So it's like... It needs to feel your face. I get it. just enough. HD, HD team. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Yay. The homie Justine, you know, killing it. Killing the okay. What's going on? Look who it is. How you all doing? Yes. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. <laughs> if you all aren't here, you're missing out. <laughs> Come through. AMAC 2019. Come through. How you guys doing? I'm Dr. Antonio Webb. Uh, definitely check out her channel. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. And, um, I wish everybody success, work hard, never give up, and then you'll eventually reach your goal. It pays off in the end. Check out his channel too. Yeah, Antonio <laughs> Webb, MD. Amex, so I had no idea what to expect, but even with no expectations, it blew any expectation I could have out of the water. So much camaraderie, everybody's so supportive. You really don't know how strong your network is until you actually delve into it. I advise everyone to go to Amex at least once in their medical career. I think it may be a bit better for third and fourth year yeah, because for like the residency put on and stuff, but there's definitely a lot you can gain in one and in two. 
Like, I wish I did an M1 and M2 because yeah. I would be so much more prepared for everything now. Yeah, and actually, I was lucky enough, I went once as an undergrad uh, with MAPS, Minority Association of Pre-Med Students, and that kind of put me on to the whole thing. Then went again, I think, uh, first year of med school. Uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. Um, and this one was nothing short of that, so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so for those who don't know, AMEC is the stand for American Medical Ed Education Conference. It's an annual conference uh, put on by SNMA, the Student National Medical Association. And it, it brings minorities in medicine together to just have a, just an amazing like networking and uh, educational opportunity. Uh, so usually this one started uh, on Wednesday and ends today, which is Sunday. Uh, but we had shelf exams. We had an exam on Friday, so we had to fly in late, late Friday. Like 1 a.m. Uh, we got it. Two, no, yeah, actually, 2.30 we 2 got it. 2.30, the flight was right? Yeah. Well, shout out to American, right? Shout out to American with the delayed flight. Actually, no, nah, let's, let's delete that, because <laughs> no free shout outs, no free advertising. <laughs> but, but yeah, so we came in late Friday. First, my second time in Philly. Was it, like, you've been to Philly before, right? I've been to Philly before. I've never yeah. really experienced Philly. I don't think Philly would have been as amazing as amazing of a city for, for me this. if it wasn't for AMET. Because um, I, I was just blown away by the people and how open and approachable everybody was. Like, yeah. I've never experienced that at any conference. Like, I didn't have any type of stress or worries or... I wasn't fearful to approach anyone. People approached yeah. me like we fit in, right? We fit yeah. in because there are people like us in the same avenue of life. So we're like kind of pre vetted. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there to network too, so it's like a very cohesive like energy, you know. And everybody knows how hard it is to get there too. So right. everybody's very supportive. It was. I didn't get any negativity. I didn't notice no, no, any no. negativity no. at the conference. No. None. No problem. Everybody 100% no. supportive. In yep. all specialties, ENT, surgery, yep. everywhere. Yep. Radiology with this guy, yeah. EM, everywhere. It's, yeah. We're out here. We just need to connect. Yeah. So, yeah, so the next day, uh, Saturday, was like one of the culminating days of the conference, one of the main days. They have so many different uh, workshops, so many different uh, recruitment fairs, whether it's for uh, pre meds trying to get into med school or med students trying to network with residencies and residency coordinators and stuff like that. Um, and we actually, as part of our obligation uh, to our school, we actually uh, manned the table for UIC. Uh, recruitment fair. Exactly, to recruit med students, uh, undergrads into med school. And we spoke to such a great variety of intelligent undergrads. Every, every time so I talk to them, like, how do, like, I wasn't doing this. <laughs> I was not this prepared for medical school. I wasn't doing this kind of stuff, you know, in undergrad, but, you know, folks are, folks are prepared out here. And one thing that always strikes me, and we talk about this, is a lot of undergrads, as prepared and as accomplished as they are, they have the imposter syndrome. They're like, yeah, I, I do, I published like two books, but am I good enough? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I'm like, uh, yeah, definitely apply, you know? I think that was awesome, because I'm all about getting little black and brown people into medical school because we need more of us. Representation matters, you know? One of the students literally told me, like, a very prevalent problem in the medical field right now is that African-American women, black women, feel like their concerns are being overlooked and it's leading to a lot of, like, morbidity and mortality for African-American women. And there was a, a college student that came up and we asked her, why do you want to be a doctor? She gave us the normal... I'm passionate about medicine, I want to help people, but when you pushed her a little bit further, she she actually told us, because I feel comfortable going to my doctor because she looks like me. I want to give that That's feeling powerful. to other people. That's powerful. It shook me, it shook That's me powerful. for a college kid to be thinking about that. Yeah, that's powerful. Something that's so prevalent in the community, it, it blew yep. my mind. Yep. AMEC yep. is amazing, man. Uh, amazing. Start boarding our flight soon, actually it starts boarding, but we'll continue this. Hopefully the audio was good, if not. We'll have to do take two, but yeah, peace out.